Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with the Tie-In Transport SX B8056 T70 AE 26HR-2T storage server. Assembled off the TS70 AB8056 chassis, this is a 2U platform that features a single AMD Epic 9000 4 Series processor with up to 96 cores. Yes, 96 cores. Compared to third generation Intel Xeon scalable CPUs, which have up to 40 cores each, just this single CPU delivers some pretty impressive numbers and more than doubles the core count of a dual processor Intel based system. Of course, the fourth generation Intel processors have up to 60 cores, but still fall short for a single socket implementation. Let's take a look. This platform supports 26 2.5 inch NVMe U.2 hot swap storage bays, plus an option for two and back. AMD says the Epic 9004 series processors have the most memory channels at 12 of any other x86 processor. DDR5 memory also provides a 1.5 times increase in bandwidth and performance over DDR4. Third and fourth generation Intel Xeon still only support eight memory channels, although the fourth gen CPUs have made the jump to DDR5 memory modules too. In a nutshell, AMD processors deliver more memory channels and more PCI lanes, PCI 5.0 lanes. PCI 5.0 offers twice the bandwidth compared to PCI 4.0. And as I've said before, CPUs are expensive and AMD processors deliver some incredible performance with just a single processor. The Tyan Transport SX, this thing, is designed for high input output operations per second or IOPS for cloud storage applications. Those NVMe storage devices provide low latency, Making use of remote direct memory access and fiber channel networking fabrics, this platform can take advantage of the inherent speed of the PCI bus. This enables far greater communication speeds than with a collection of spinning disks, enabling faster data transfers between host and storage. 26 NVMe storage bays on the front with two USB 3.0 ports on the left and a small control panel on the right. The control panel features the power button, an HDD LED, a warning LED, ID button and LED, and two LEDs for LAN 1 and LAN 2 with a reset button right beside those. There are also a few LEDs on the hard drive trays for status. If that LED on the left is red, <laughs> it's not good. Are you interested in the Tyan Transport SX B8056T70AE26HR-2T storage server? I mean, you don't have to use it as a storage server, you can use it for whatever you want. Aside from applications, for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the list price of a system listed on itcreations.com or one that you can configure using our configurator that's valued at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to find out more information and mention this video when you're ready to make a purchase. Okay, let's check out the back of the system. This chassis has two power supply units stacked one on top of the other. Options include 1,000 watts and 16,000 watts 1 plus 1 80 plus redundant platinum PSUs. Next, an Intelligent Platform Management Interface port or IPMI port, two USB 3.0 ports below that, and a VGA port on top with serial port below. The two RJ45 ports provide 10 gigabit ethernet for network communications with the ID LED and ID button just before the slot for a dedicated OCP 3.0 card. PCI slots on top. Before we get too deeply involved in this system, I will say there is another platform with the same chassis the B8056T7AE26HR. No dash 2T on the end. That platform only has the management LAN port, but no integrated 10 gig base T RJ45 ports. Same, same otherwise, just a different SKU. Still a long name, like if you spill your drink on the keyboard and it just starts creating random copy. That dedicated management port provides access to the Aspeed AST2600 baseboard management controller. The BMC is compatible with IPMI 2.0 and Redfish protocols. Redfish is the updated management interface when compared to IPMI. Tyan also offers their Tyan Server Management Software, or TSM Plus 2.0. TSM Plus 2.0 allows administrators to access the system in-band and out-of-band remotely. It features a graphic user interface supported on most browsers and can provide asset tracking and management, event logs, and groupings of servers based on management requirements. Administrators can also configure the application to send email alert notifications, among other useful things. Inside the chassis, you can see that slot for the OCP card. With a BI-16 interface, the OCP mezzanine card will support several options for both ports and connection bandwidth. Options include OCP cards with two ports and 100 gigabit per second, or one port with 200 gigabit per second data transfer speeds. 
Don't worry, there are more choices than that for the OCP card. There are two pre-installed tie-in riser cards. The left card has a single PCI Gen 5 by 16 slot with a 4x power pin connector. On the right, the riser card has two PCI 5.0 slots. One is a by 16 slot and the other is a by 8 slot. Those by 16 slots on each of the two riser cards are outfitted with a PCIe retimer board. Each of two slim SAS cable connectors for connecting two NVMe drives each, or four drives per expansion card. The retimer boards are used to install more than 18 drives on the system. The first 18 NVMe drives can plug directly into the motherboard using slim SAS cables from the back lane to those slots on the motherboard. With 26 NVMe drives up front, you will only have access to a single PCI 5.0 by 8 slot and that OCP 3.0 card for expansion options. To recap, AMD's fourth generation Epic series processors can deliver 16 to 96 cores. All of them support DDR5 memory, 12 memory lanes, memory speeds of up to 4,800 megahertz, 128 PCI 5.0 lanes, and feature a system on a chip design. So no chipset like Intel Xeon scalable processors. The CPU supports 24 memory module slots for up to three terabytes of DDR5 memory using 128 gigabyte memory modules in all slots. Supported memory module types include registered DIMMs and 3DS R DIMMs. The CPU and memory modules are cooled by three large fans. With 26 NVMe storage devices up front, plus the retimer boards taking up the other PCI slots, there is only that one PCI 5.0 by 8 full height, half length slot, and a single PCI 5.0 by 16 mezzanine slot for the OCP 3.0 card. There are also two PCI 4.0 by 2 slots on the system board for support of two NVMe M.2 drives. The AMD product brief does mention that a two processor AMD Epic 9004 series platform will have 160 PCI lanes available and eight bonus PCI 4.0 or 3.0 lanes for less demanding peripherals. Perhaps a few bonus lanes are still available with single processor implementation. Those two SATA NVMe drive bays in back will also need a SATA or NVMe connection. If you are maxed out with 26 NVMe front mounted drives, you will have to go SATA on those rear drive bays. You could also just use the OCP card for network connections and install another retimer board for NVMe rear drives in that last by 8 PCI slot. Fortunately, the CPU also supports up to 32 lanes of SATA interfaces for massive amounts of local disk storage. Bottom line, there are still limited PCI slots available for expansion, so choose wisely. For a storage server, that single AMD processor can deliver a great deal of cores and performance. I'm not going to recap again in the interest of keeping it short. But I will say that 26 NVMe storage devices and up to three terabytes of memory, you can do a lot with that. If you are interested in the tie-in transport SX B8056T70AE26HR-2T, then check out itcreations.com. We are partners with tie-in and can get this server or any other of tie-in's other great enterprise hardware appliances. Not sure exactly what you need? We can help with that too. Give us a call or check out our website, itcreations.com. Until next time, I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations. Thanks for watching.